Okay, sum up London at night time in a 90 second film. Here we go. London at night to him had become a romantic notion. It was the old Ronnie Scott's Jazz Cafe, the fall of refurbishment, Gordon's Wine Bar, late night stumble across the Hungerford Bridge. That's just too nostalgic. As young people are going to watch this, it needs to speak their language. Take two. Nighttime in London, to him, was Camden. No, Shoreditch, Brixton. Nighttime in London, to him, was a stale Turkish pool hall disco conversion in Dalston. Now, this is going to alienate people. These are just names of cool places. I need something which everyone can relate to. London at night, to him, was a pub. The pub. The Southampton Arms, the old red lion. Fruit machines, pork scratchings, real ales. Okay, the pub cliche whizzed in after a while. I'm never going to capture its essence in such a big place. Maybe I should just say that. Okay, but it has to be meaningful and profound. London at night time was somehow always just out of reach. It was a fragmented assortment of mismatched pieces that somehow fit together because they had to. The city was lost in its own reflection, floating down the Thames. You could see it there, but you'd never be able to reach out until... This is too pretentious now. Look, here's a view from Primrose Hill. What do you want from me? 